whoever you are, whatever you like, these are gonna suit you. But it's all about kind of your confidence in wearing that. So if you are gonna wear a 30 pound fragrance, but a 200 pound suit, then I like your style, go forth and conquer. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is man for himself. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then chances are you are going to love it right here. Please do press subscribe right now. I did a spring fragrance video, yes I did. I did a spring fragrance video a couple of weeks ago and I gave you a five. I don't like top fives because I've got so many favorite things and I think fragrance should be about expression and about how you feel in that moment. But I also wanna get a few views on this. So let's stick top five in the title, will I? I don't know, but anyway, you're with me. And these are five for spring, five gorgeous fragrances that actually will last all year round. I thought I'd use this as a bit of a prop. The five fragrances are in there. Stick around, it's gonna be a laugh. I've also got a peppermint tea. Last time I had a gin and tonic, but this time I thought I'll go a bit a bit safer. Because after a few sits and a few sniffs, I got, I got, <laughs> it just got a bit much. Okay, I'm gonna start with um, this one in here. Oh, hello. If you are a follower, an audience member, and you've been around for a while, then you will know I've spoken about this before. Foo to Absinthe by Large Saint Perfumer. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You might think that spring has to be, has to be just a bit airy fairy, a bit nothing, maybe a bit sparkly, but this one is sexy. It's got an evening sort of vibe to it. It's quite crunchy in certain parts. Like, I, I love this. This is patchouli in it, so it's got star anise. So there's this kind of like fresh, but also spicy vibe to it. And um, when I was in, when I was in Paris, I shot a video of Lars Saint Perfumer and we went to, Adam who works with me, we went to the Moulin Rouge at night because this is all about that sort of absinthe nights, like really, really wild times, which I think must have been such a laugh. And hopefully after this COVID small pandemic thing that we're in at the moment, mm -hmm, then hopefully we could be having times like that. Get the absinthe in. Um, but I think this is gorgeous. It is so different from anything else that I've smelled. The star anise definitely gives you that um, spicy kick, a spicy um, woody kick that I just want to be kicked by. This price point, I will link them all down below. I'll also try and get them all on manfromself.com. I'll find you the best prices. This is around about 30, 130 pound mark. So it's, it's not cheap, but so, so gorgeous. So, so great. And um, let's go from, thank you. Let's go from one end of the scale to another one. And this has featured so, by the way, I do have fragrances I've never, do you know what? I'm gonna give you a fragrance I've never featured. Here you go. Chantecaille Vetiver Cidre. Cidre. Chantecaille is uh, a really well-known, if you know, you know, a really well-known beauty brand. Well, it might not be that well-known, but Vetiver Cidre is, as it suggests, vetiver and, I was about to say cider. <laughs> vetiver and cedarwood oil. Um, it is great. I've, I've dropped my blotting strips. Just gonna spray into the air. I know this. They had two, hello, two new ones that were launched. And the reason I think this is so spring-like, spring-like, is the warming woods from Cedarwood. Cedarwood, I always think, gives this warmth to it. Uh, very light and bright. And then the vetiver gives it this grassy sort of edge. So there's, there's definite freshness. There's also really great bergamot and grapefruit, really juicy notes in the top. And also just a touch of juniper. There's another juniper one in here. I like juniper because it makes me think of a gin and tonic. Um, love a gin and tonic, really thirst quenching. Perfect for spring, perfect for summer, perfect for autumn, perfect for winter. It's just perfect. And um, this is 150 pounds, I want to say. She's pricey, but um, I think it's great. I really, really enjoyed wearing this. Um, also musk, vetiver, patchouli on the base, so it lasts, um, but it's so, uh, it's so open, it's an open fragrance. It doesn't make you feel like, oh God, that's too much, that's on top of me, unless you want it on top of you, in which case, this one isn't for you. Light, bright, spring, gorgeous, thank you. Um, okay, right, if you like Juniper, but you're thinking 158 pounds is just a touch too much, then I'm gonna take a sip of my peppermint tea and I'm gonna get this one out for you. Mmm. Abercrombie and Fitch, first in, <coughs> Abercrombie and Fitch, first instinct. This bad boy, has been sprayed a lot by me, someone who tends to gravitate towards chucks the money at a fragrance. 
but I think this is so, so great. 20 something pounds, 28 pounds. Let's just call it maybe an, an even 30 pounds on that, but 30 pounds for a bottle like this. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch, uh, fashion, is that fashion? It's clothing, brand that is very much, was very much based on this sort of alpha male, girls and hardly anything, gorgeous, gorgeous people, but I don't think much going on in their head. But the fragrance that was created is just perfect. Gin and tonic in there, aromatic pepper and suede musk. But for me, it's all about that, that gin and tonic. I also get a sort of like violet sort of quality to this. Um, I have worn this like a lot and I think it smells so much more expensive than that 30 pounds. Again, like I think always with price points and brands, it is marketing, that is the world we live in. Essentially, I am marketing right now, um, but I'm marketing with a conscience, let's say that. I'm also discerning, I'm gonna pick out stuff that's decent. Um, also, all of these can be worn by anyone, whoever you are, whatever you like, these are gonna suit you, but it's all about kind of your confidence in wearing that. So if you are gonna wear a 30 pound fragrance but a 200 pound suit, then I like your style, go forth and conquer. Um, but this is just so, so great. And I do think of it as a sort of spring summer just because it has, uh, it's very rounded, it's very inviting, it's very much like, hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you, rather than, hey, how's it going? nice to meet you. Um, it's less sexy, it's more welcoming, and it's gorge. Gorge, who says gorge? I do now. Robin James, 2021, man from self. Thank you very much. Um, let's go, I was talking sexy there, and I wanna go super sexy. Kareen Reutfeld, um, who was the editor-in-chief of uh, Vogue uh, France, oof. Uh, yes, she was. She has launched seven fragrances, which I have here, seven fragrances, inspired by seven lovers in seven cities. I just go wet and wild for that vibe. I've got the travel set here. Um, this was very kindly sent to me, obviously with a hope that I would feature this. And it sat in a box while I was moving and I didn't get to it. And then while I've been looking at fragrances for different videos that I've got coming up, I've got a very sexy seductive video hopefully coming up next week. And I've got one on summer fragrances. I think we just fast forward into that. But when I was going through these, I was having a spritz, I was having a wear, and I kept on coming back to them. Seven fragrances inspired by seven men that Corrine Reutfeldt uh, met in seven different cities. I just, I'm like, hats off. That is what fragrance should be. It should be moments, it should be memory, it should be sex, it should be excitement. It should just be a full love story. Like, that is what we're here for. This one, Vladimir, and um, very much has a sexy story behind it. And I'm gonna read it to you. I took this directly off the website. This is not some sort of erotic fiction that I've written. Um, this says, your hand guiding me in a firm but gentle hold. We slipped into the wings of the Masinsky, Marinsky Theater. While the dancers warmed up to the sound of the Tchaikovsky, whooft, you leant towards me and tenderly kissed my cheek, enveloping me in a sweet, lingering odor of amber. Gorgeous. I just love that she's got these stories. She's worked with um, a perfumer and said, this is my story, sex it up, get it in. Um, oof, that's what she said. But what is great about, ooh, ah, what I love about this is there's some similarities between this, Vladimir, and First Instinct. First Instinct is all these juniper, um, very fresh, very inviting notes. And I think that this one is almost like a very adult, a lot more expensive, $260 for 90 mils, expensive uh, version of that. This has got grapefruit, it's got geranium, bergamot, sage, cedar, and then she talks of amber there. There's amber and there's incense. So amber, I preach, I preach, yes I do. I preach that it's got this sort of golden tonality to it. It's warming, it smells expensive, it sits on the skin, it lasts. And then with incense, it's all about that smokiness, smoky notes. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful and I'm excited to get into the seven men that she's got in that pouch. I might even do a dedicated dedicated video where I just sort of read the stories, spritz the things, and we have a bit of a laugh because I think it's so, so great. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I want to entertain, so I'm gonna do that. So well done, Kareen. Gorgeous, get your lid back on. Gorgeous launch and I'm excited to get into your men. Okay, 
pop you in there. Okay, the last one is another sort of new release. Um, and this is by L'Occitane. Um, L'Occitane have got, they have various fragrances. There were actually three that got sent to me. Must be maybe at the start of the year. And then they had a really sort of citrus, very EDT, um, wasn't a huge fan of it. One which was last year. But this is great. And there's another one which I think is so, so sexy, gorgeous, perfect. And um, this has got rosemary. It's also got driftwood and red seaweed. So there's a salty sort of vibe. There's a herbaceous sort of vibe. There's a driftwood sort of vibe. I mean, driftwood, what is even that scent? It's kind of like dried out wood. Um, but I think the rosemary is to me what makes this summer. Rosemary, think about if you're gonna have lamb, sorry if you're vegetarian or vegan or just have a pet lamb, but with lamb you do get that sort of sprig of rosemary on the top, so I think very spring. Um, rosemary to me also is herbaceous without being like, oh God, that's just too herbaceous. It's herbaceous with an opinion. You know, I just think it's got a bit of something to it. And I think this is beautiful. One of the things I find with this is compared to their last fragrances, this does last. I'm sure this is a parfum, yeah, it's an eau de parfum. And uh, the other two are also just as gorgeous. This to me is just like really out of all of these, probably one of the most wearable. I feel like it's the kind of fragrance you could wear every day. People might not necessarily think, oh God, he smells great. Or, oh God, she smells great. Um, or, oh God, they smell great. I, I just think, uh, this one is just easy on the skin. It's easy day out. It's easy, easy. It's easy breezy. Um, whereas the other ones might be a little more easy in the kind of like night out sense. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to link all of them. Um, I've gone a bit weird and a bit like buzzed because I've been spraying fragrances all day and this just sometimes happens to me. This is why I had to have a peppermint tea rather than a whiskey. Um, but I will, oh hello, I think it's an Amazon order, but I will link all of this. If you've enjoyed this, you've still not press subscribe then please wait, please do press subscribe right now, the button is there. So some more video suggestions under there. Um, a link to the fragrance pages there. Until my next new video, bye bye.